Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze a multiple response question where the responses are separated by a comma delimiter and uh, in, in Power BI. All right, so um, I have a very simple survey data here where we ask respondents which of the following social media platform do you use? So respondents could select more than one. So we have our survey data here where each selection the respond a respondent date is separated by uh, comma delimiter. So we also have information about gender, age, uh, and then the, also we also ask them how often they use social media platforms. So we want to see how do we analyze or summarize this multiple response question that we have in the survey data. All right, so let's go to Power BI. So here we load our data from Excel and then um, we have our data here. So let's preview the data. So this is the column that we want to um, to summarize. So let's click on the data sheet. So first we need to transform the data. So in Power Query, we have to do some cleaning and transformation to the data that we want to analyze. So this is the multiple response question. So click on it, just go to split column by delimiter here. Our delimiter is comma click on it then you go to advanced we want to split um we want to split split into rows so use add the comma at each comma then it will split what comes after the comma into a new row all right so we click ok and then we have our data here so we also have um information about how they feel immediately after they use the platform. So this is also a multiple response question. Um, we can do same to that. So let's just click on that one to and split by the limiter. And here our delimiter is comma, split into rows. So let's click it. Okay, so we have it. So these are two multiple response questions in our survey data. So once we do this, we just go to close and apply and then we load our data to Power BI. So we have our data here. So on the right hand side, we have our data and all the columns that are there. Then next to that uh, is the visuals pane where we can look, uh, we can pick the appropriate visuals and then um, summarize our data. Then we also have filters. On the left hand side is the report view where we put our visuals. We have the data, we can preview it here. And then we also have um, the relationship uh if we had more than one table we can establish relationships using the uh, unique keys that are there all right so before because we splitted the two columns into in, into rows our data uh, number of rows will increase okay so let's go straight to build our visual so first let's use matrix visuals to see how um, the responses are spread across before we use a chart. So this is the first multiple response question. Which of the following social media platforms do you use? So we pick this one and drop in the row first. Then for each um, platform, we want to see how many respondents say they use it. So we pick the ID which identifies individual respondents in the data. So we have it here. So if we look at the total uh, here, it gives us uh, 53 thousand plus uh selections so this 53 plus are the what so these are the number of rows total number of rows of the data that we have after we did the splitting so you see that this numbers to are uh, more than the, our sample size we have thousand number of respondents but you see that this selection is more than that because it just gives us the um, the multiple selections uh, the multiple split of each one. So what we do is that uh, we need to look at the unique selection for each. So let's click here and go to, uh, and select count by distinct. So once we do that, it gives us the exact selection that um, se uh, responses that we have. So we have our total respondents in the survey as thousand. So we can just summarize and show values uh, as percentage of column total. So this gives us the percentage breakdown for each platform. All right, so we can arrange it, the short, sort it in descending order so that we can have it. So um, let's build a visual for this. So let's also, um, so let's duplicate this one. Just copy and paste 
so we can uh we also want to look at the second the second platform that's a uh, multiple response question that we have in the survey so let's take away this one and then bring in the um, uh the second one where we ask them how they feel when they use the platform so we can drop it here uh and we have that one to here okay So we we have uh, this one is already sorted in sending order. So that is it. So let's look at uh, so let's build visuals for the first social media platform. So here uh, we just click on because the responses add up to more than hundred percent. The stack bar chart wouldn't work, so we have to use um, uh, cluster bar chart. So let's click on this, and then we have our bar charts here. Okay. So here we can format and do a lot of stuff to rates. Let's, uh, let's see how we can summarize this one. Okay, let's reduce this one. Okay, so this one, let's, uh, we can do some, uh, some formatting. So let's disable the y x axis. We don't need it. And also the title. Then we go to the bars. Let's change the bars color to deep blue. I like blue. Then the, the values to let's enable the data labels and uh, center it. Let's put it in the size center. The color to we can give it white color. We can increase the font size for that. We can also bold it. Okay. Then we'll go to the Y axis to do some formatting to it. So the title for the Y axis, if you want, we can disable it. And then just to give some uh, chance to read. Then the, the labels for the uh, Y axis to, we can increase it. We can also give it color. Then we have it there. Okay, we can bold it if we want to. Okay, then um, here we can come here and change this one to social media platforms. Okay, so uh the title to let's see uh title here we have social media platforms okay so the title if we want we can change the heading size so that one too we can justify it if it's color let's give it this color you can bold it or increase it okay no wait 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 okay so we have it here Okay, so that is it. So we built our visual for this. So um, the second one is the how they feel. So we can click on this one to build a chart for that. So the same steps that we take. So first, let's give the title uh, a very short title here. So how they feel about using social media. Okay, so same to we can give it a color with this one. Let's give it this color. We can bold it, increase the font size if we want. So we can. Um, why as as is to we can disable it and just give it uh a bus to let's change a color for the bus maybe we can give it this color yeah okay then the white as is to we can let's come here data labels let's enable the data labels and give it a color center it's inside center okay then uh, we can give it a color of white. We can bold it, increase the font size. Okay. Then the number of decimal places, we can do it. Then we also have Y axis. Let's come to Y axis. We can disable the title. Make it clean, clean it up. And this one, let's give it black. We can bold it here. Great. Then uh, which one is there? So why S as is to let's look at S as is the title. 
we have to disable the title for the SIG. Okay, so this one is the platform that they use. Okay, so we can sort this one to in the descent and order. Wait, wait. This is ascending order. Let's do it descending. Okay, so we have it here. So that is it. So this is how we handle multiple response questions where the Responses appear single columns and each selection separated by comma delimit. Uh, just to re-emphasize, my data is I generated this data as a dummy data or test data in in, in Qualtrics. So uh, just know that the responses may not really reflect reality. So just take note of that. So here to let's reduce the number of decimal places for the values, uh, the values, make it just to clean it up. Very nice. Okay, so we can add, uh, let's add a card, a, a filter here. Just uh, we can filter by gender. Uh, let's change. Let's go to the settings and change it to title. If we want, we can change it to title. Okay, gender, if we want, so we can have it here. We can also replicate it and add each, if we have each here, um, we can add the each. Let's take away gender. We give the H. So the H to, if we want, we can keep it here. So we can filter by H. Mm -hmm. and then that is it. Uh, you are good to go. You can clear the filter here. You can also filter by male, female, those who say, and so on. So that is all. Okay. Thank you. Bye.